Right then, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Paul, I'm also called Knickknack, and I'm the brains behind Knickknack's daily teaser. It's a fun daily brain teaser quiz. If you're watching this video version of today's teaser, you're watching it on Knickknack's Old Peculiar, my blog, or on my YouTube channel, Mr. Cuddy2977. Please, if you're on YouTube, feel free to hit that button in the corner there. That'll take you to some more of my content. Uh, and to my tip jar as well, if you're feeling generous. Uh, you can also hit like, dislike, share, subscribe, and ding the notification bell. That way, you help grow the channel, and when I post today's answers in tomorrow's teaser, video and written, you'll be the first to find out. Let's get a move on, shall we? Right then, with all of that little lot said, it's the 15th of January, it's 2023, and it's getting light out. Which is probably extraneous to the fact that today is the 15th, and we have five whole questions about today. Question 1. 15th of January is the feast day of St Paul of Thebes. He's traditionally associated with which bird? A dove, a crow, or a raven? Two. 15th of January 1953 saw a purge of senior officials begin. Where? East Germany, Czechoslovakia, or Yugoslavia? Three. American football's first Super Bowl, first Super Bowl, was played on the 15th of January 1967 between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. It was played in which US city? Probably the sort of question set in a few years' time. We'll have to see. Four. 15th of January 1997 saw Princess Diana call for an international ban on what? Landmines, hand grenades, or lazy dog bombs? Finally, question. Question 5. Finally, Sarah Jane Moore was assassinated to life imprisonment on the 15th of January 1976 for trying to assassinate who? President Gerald Ford, President Jimmy Carter, or President Ronald Reagan? That's the questions for the 15th of January for today. Yesterday's answers, the 14th of January. 1. Denmark. Apparently she's a noted archaeologist. 2. Denmark, less an archaeologist, more an archaeological sub subject. Three, at, and nothing archaeological about it. Four, France, where sort of French archaeology occurs. Five, an opera, which is musical rather than archaeological. <laughs> Right, thank you for watching that little lot. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you'd like to have a go at today's teaser set. If you do, you need to put your answers on today's daily teaser post on Knickknacks Old Peculiar by 7am tomorrow UK time. To get there, if you're watching on YouTube, you will find the link to the post in the info box under this video or in the eye lurking around in the corner there, and going past on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Today's post will go live by approximately 10 a.m. UK time. When you get to the post, scroll to the bottom, hit post a comment, fill in your answers, leave me a name, a message, and a social media link, and then hit publish. Again, by 10 a.m. tomorrow UK time. Come back tomorrow after 10, you can find out the answers, you can see how you've done, you can see if you manage to beat the rest of the regulars, and if you're feeling really brave, you can have another go. Thank you for watching, please feel free to subscribe or donate to my PayPal account, but please, whatever else you do, have a very, very good day.